Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Look, first up, look, I know it's been a while since my last video. I've been a bit slack. Well, yes and no. A uh, few changes in my life. Uh, new job, busy family life as usual. Um, also, you know, weather had its you know, ups and downs throughout the year. Um, it's been probably better in the last, you know, few, last month or two than it has been for most of the year. Um, but with all that said, uh, going into 2023, I really want that to change. Um, I have a few things up my sleeve and in the works. Um, and even with my new job, um, I'm going to be creating some content because um, that will allow me to. But um, with all that said, the main reason we're doing this video, this quick video, is because of this little guy. Now, this is my new little contraption that I've put together and it is to hold my phone on the back of my star trackers when I'm polar aligning. Now polar alignment in the southern hemisphere is a nightmare. Um, we're not lucky like the northern hemisphere guys where they have a, a bright star to sort of point towards roughly and um, they're good to go and they can start tracking and getting uh, some nice shots um, straight away. Uh, our southern celestial pole there's there's stars there, it's called octans, but there's no bright stars at all. It's very, very dim. So uh, we have to come up with some other creative ways on how to polar align. Now for me, the fastest and easiest way I've found is using a app called PS Align Pro. Uh, it is only on iOS, uh, so Android users, you're going to have to make friends with an iPhone guy or... Uh, find yourself a cheap one on, you know, secondhand online to just download that app purely for that app reasons. But um, yeah, once I've got that app up and running and use the polar align function, because that's what I use it for, um, yeah, I can be polar aligned in under 10 seconds. Uh, but with that said, it would actually take me longer than 10 seconds to use the app because I would have to physically hold my phone to the back of the tracker. Now, Holding the phone to the back of the tracker was a pain. Um, you know, I've only got two hands. Um, one hand was constantly, you know, holding the phone against the back of the tracker to keep it flat whilst I'm trying to use the other hand to maneuver everything and power align as accurate as possible. So that became a nightmare. So I needed to find a, a way to, for my phone to be fixed to the tracker. Um, so, you know, usually when you want something to hold your phone to something, you use a phone holder. Uh, so I needed to create a phone holder for my tracker. Now I had to figure a way how to hold the phone holder to the tracker. And the only other tool I could figure out was another phone holder and use that as a clamp. Now I didn't go down one route. I did look at getting uh, some power bank holders. You can, If you go on to Amazon, which is where I got all these parts from, uh, you can find a clamp that is uh, specifically for a, uh, a power bank. So the clamp looks like it has a little bit, bit of a bigger grip. Um, but I personally already had uh, one part that, uh, already. Uh, and then the only other parts I needed to buy were uh, this guy here. And the reason I bought this guy here was because um, of the thinner section in the middle. Because uh, the thin section is critical to fit in between the uh, I guess the little protrusions on the back of the Star Adventure Mini so um, I needed this part specifically for that um, but the other reason I needed uh, I was lucky to get this part was I, you need the quarter inch thread on the back of it uh, so most come with one on the like bottom so you can, can uh, mount it to a tripod to hold your phone but I needed one on the back part and I already had one that did have that already I just need to buy this secondary one with the thin gap for the mounting to the Star Adventure Mini. And then all I had to buy was a quarter inch male to quarter inch male adapter, which then helped me join the two phone holders together. Now, I can now uh, use this with the Star Adventure Mini, uh, but also I can use it uh, to hold my phone to the back of the 2i as well. Uh, not that I use my Star Adventure 2i as much as anymore because I predominantly use my Star Adventure Mini because it holds up to three kilos. Um, I'm not using it in any sort of uh, ridiculous way. It's just a 
do some tracked images of the night sky uh, for my sky portion of my photos these days and then I usually turn it off and get my foregrounds and that's how I put my photos together. Um, the two I, um, I'll probably look at using it down the line. Um, I do want to get a, uh, a Samyang 135mm f2 lens and use that as a bit more of a zoomed in sort of a lens uh, option and I'll probably use the 2i uh, for that lens and when I, once I start uh, getting a little bit deeper in that regard um, and then I do have the GTI so this can be used on the GTI as well uh, I haven't tried it yet but it's a, the GTI backing is pretty much the same as the 2i so I can't see why not um, and on that mount um, I'm usually using my uh, Evo Lux uh, scope on that uh, as well so so uh, yeah I'll uh, I'll uh, be finding this little contraption very handy uh, and it'll get me polar aligned super fast uh, and also fast and ahead of time when I'm using the GTI when I'm using doing a bit of deep space as well so um, I'll leave links in the description below for these parts that I found um, it's up to you I did have a guy even ask can you use an iPad because uh, that's the only iOS device he has. He's an Android user, but he does actually have an Apple iPad. Um, I guess you could replace um, one of these uh, phone holders for an iPad holder. Uh, so in theory, yes, you could definitely do that. Um, but yeah, I don't know, carrying an iPad around with you when you're out shooting uh, nightscapes isn't something that I personally do. Um, if I'm ever going to use an iPad out and about, it would be to maybe have a bigger screen controlling my... Uh, Star Adventure GTI when I'm using the ASI Air Plus with it doing my doing my deep stuff, but um, it can certainly be done. Um, and also, no, this is not a sky watch apart. <laughs> uh, I had, did have I did, I did hear about a question that is this possibly uh, something that Sky Watcher sells? No, so this is all little bits and bobs I've found of Amazon. Um, you can find them anywhere. You can probably go into your local camera store. They might have some parts already. Um, but yeah, I was it easier for me to just you know uh, scrounge through Amazon and try and find all the parts I need they come up with diagrams with measurements so I could make sure that the they were going to fit correctly but um yeah look before this video gets too much longer um I'll leave it there uh all the links to this stuff will be in the be below description um and that should be my last video for the year uh, more videos to come though in 2023 so please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more interesting videos and and stuff about astrophotography and nightscapes um, and reviews and things like that uh, yeah it, there's plenty more to come in 2023 uh, but yeah any more questions or any info you, you might not have gotten from this video or maybe from something else that's come up uh, yeah just leave a question down below in the comments or you can reach out to me through my instagram as well through the dms but um yeah i hope everyone uh, has a fantastic christmas and a happy new year i'll see you in 2023 and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers